welcome back to my channel. I thought that I would film a little makeup tutorial. Now, I do want to film probably one to two of these a month. Probably do one tutorial and then other kind of makeup videos will just be like testing like specific products. But I think I want to do like one full makeup tutorial every month. So I have done my skincare so far. I used an essence lotion and a moisturizer after washing my face from the body shop. But obviously this is about makeup. So I've just gone and wet my little cheeky sponge i love this sponge so much i do actually want to try i don't know if anybody any of you watch tarty tarty um the youtuber if you don't i'll link her channel down below because she's my favorite youtuber ever like she genuinely is and she's released a makeup palette i can't remember textured neutrals that's what it's called and i really do want that palette like i genuinely do want it but it is really expensive and especially because of shipping costs and everything like it's just too much for me by the way i'm using the vitamin c skin reviver um from the body shop really really good primer love that yeah i really want her palette and i think what i'm gonna do is save up for it because whenever it comes back in stock because it always goes out of stock i'm like oh shall i get it but then i'm like no georgie you know you can save up for it and then you'll feel like you deserve it a little bit more so i think that's what i'm gonna do oh yeah i'll bring you in a little closer she's brought also brought out like it's called the blenderful it's like a beauty blender but it's not well it's not at all but it's like fluffy do you know what i mean it's like obviously you can research it and then you'll know exactly what i mean by the way my face is red because i'm quite warm in fact that's probably a good idea to turn the heating off so bear with me for one second. I'm just going to go and turn the heating off. Don't knock anything over on my travels. Oh, that we go. Less noise. Hi, I'm back. Sorry if that was noisy. It's now going to be quiet. I've just primed using this from the body shop. It is amazing. Really, really love that product. And I'm now going to start off with my eyes. Now, this is a new thing that I have been doing. And it's been, you know, focusing more on my eyes to start with and then doing the base. So I'm just going to zoom you in for that part, but not too close. Hi there. Hello. Yeah, I'm going to conceal. I'm using my Makeup Obsession Mega Conceal in the shade number two. I probably could have done with like the shade number four or something because this is a little bit too light. But, you know, we can work with it. So I'm just going to pop a little bit on my eyelid. This is just so that I can kind of have a base for when I do my um, eyeshadow and my concealer because I concealer and my eyebrows because I'm going to do eyebrows first and then eyeshadow and then my base. So I'm going to grab my beauty blender and I'm just going to blend that out. Also, another thing is I have decided not to do the body shop anymore. Now, this might come as quite a shock to you because I've been posting quite a lot about the body shop recently and trying to promote, you know, what I'm doing and I was a consultant and all that sort of stuff. And I did really love doing it. Like, of course I did. You know, I used to talk about it all the time, but I've just got to the stage where I'm actually not happy with it. And I'll talk a little bit more about that, like, as I'm doing my makeup and stuff. But I've just realize that it's not what i want to do like it's helped me with skills of sales and it's helped me know how to kind of promote products and review them properly and be honest and truthful about the product whilst also trying to sell it and i'm really grateful for that because you know now i want to go on to do something else which you'll see very soon i'm not going to tell you what i'm going to do but i do really want to try something um myself so yeah we'll see what happens i need a brush but yeah, I'm just going to set my base with powder. I'm using my Natural Collection Pressed Powder. And I love this powder because it's so cheap, yet it's also really good. It's funny how when you do your makeup, everything always looks really weird until the end. Obviously, a lot of these products probably will be Body Shop because obviously I was selling products for them. Um, but I'm going to be using the Body Shop Brow Compact. It's a brow and liner kit and mine was in the shade number three. I do really love this product. This is one of my favourite makeup products that they do. It will be hard for me not to repurchase this, <laughs> but I probably will. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this brown shade and I'm going to like push it through the front of my eyebrow. If you know what I mean. And then a little bit more. And then I'm going to mix these two shades together. So the brown one and the black one. And I'm going to do the arch of my brow with those two shades. Just to kind of deepen them up a little bit. And then on the tail, I'm going to use the black shade. 
well it's pretty much black kind of gray black um, but it actually works really well like it does match my hair color even though it looks really dark okay so I'm now gonna drag any excess product and I'm gonna drag it at the front of my eyebrow and I'm gonna bring that forward because I do like to bring my eyebrows a little bit forward I don't know I just do that okay don't come at me it's so much harder to do your makeup when you're filming a video because you have to talk at the same time whereas I'm not used to the talking bar I'm just used to doing it and watching YouTube videos right okay and now for the point on the tail of my eyebrow I really like to do a point I am going to take my angled brush, which is this one here. It is a really nice brush from Studio London, the brand. And I'm just going to mix the two shades together on that brush and do the tail. So it just kind of sharpens it up a little bit and defines it a little bit more. And then I kind of bring that through a bit and through to the front and just give a little bit more definition and I just like how it makes my brows turn out like obviously there is a massive difference between the two sides so I'm now going to do this side I'll speed up the clip and then I will get back with you that this one looks a little bit weird there but I will try and fix that somehow <laughs> um, often I do do them a little bit too close to each other so I'm just going to try and blend that a little bit um, I don't want them to be too close but they are quite close to each other but it doesn't matter I'm not leaving the house um, hopefully it doesn't look too bad anyway I am now going to do my eyeshadow and I was thinking today I'll just keep it quite simple in this video I am going to use my Soph X Revolution Ultra Eyeshadows this is a collaboration by the YouTuber Soph Does Nails. I think she's changed her name now to Soph or something, I'm not sure. I accidentally broke it. You can just see how much I use this palette because I've accidentally broken it. That is genuinely the reason why it's like that. So I am gonna take my favorite brush. This is my blending brush. But anyway, I'm gonna take this red shade here. I'm not gonna use any kind of crease shades or anything. I'm not gonna like blend a shade into the crease. I'm just gonna go straight in with the color and just pack it onto my eyelid. Now, because I haven't done my foundation yet, it means that if there's any fallout of product, that will get wiped away and my foundation can go on top of that. So that's why I like to do my eyeshadow first now is because obviously I use a lot of makeup and a lot of eyeshadows and it just falls down your face. And if you, um, have eyeshadow that falls down your face when you when you've got a lot of makeup on and you know you're quite caked up like I usually am then it will just stick and look awful so maybe this is something for you to try if you're like me and you like to put a lot of makeup on but if you only put a little bit of eyeshadow on you should be okay but yeah like I said I cannot wait to buy Tarte's palette and sponge you will see so many tutorials with that palette but I just thought you know what Georgie save up for it be good and then you will feel like you deserve it. So I've just put all of that shade over my eyelid and I'm gonna now do the same with the other side and that is literally gonna be my eyeshadow. Look, you can see how quick and easy it is to just pack on a colour and then just say, yeah, I'm done. And it just looks like you've put a lot more effort in than you actually have. By the way, sorry if I'm looking down a lot, it's because I've got my mirror. I just didn't wanna do the body shop anymore because I don't really agree with it. Now, the brand itself is amazing. The woman that created it, all of her, her ethics and everything were always amazing. You know, they're cruelty free and everything, but it's the body shop at home that I just, I just loved it to start with, but then I just came to realize that the whole thing's just about making them making money. And obviously, you know, that's life, like people want to make money and stuff. But what I'm saying is it's like, they want them to make you believe that you're gonna make loads of money, but the only way that you can make money through that is by recruiting people and then earning money from their sales. And I just don't agree with that, I don't know. I just wanna make my own money from my own sales, do you know what I mean? Like, I just came to a point where I thought, there's a lot of things that I don't like about this and I just don't wanna continue doing it. I'm putting a lot of effort in and I'm not getting back as much as I should be doing. So I do wanna consider like doing something for myself like doing my own thing and putting my all that effort into my own thing and just 
seeing what happens as like a little hobby so i will do a video on that if it does come to anything which hopefully it will um but anyway i've just done my eyeshadow like that's literally all that i'm going to be doing i will do some on the lower lash line but i am going to do my foundation and everything first hello welcome back so i do look a little bit scary right now because i obviously haven't got the oh that's my eyeshadow i was like have i burnt myself no it's eyeshadow i remember once i went into sixth form and my friend adam he was like georgie do you have pink eye and i was like got my mirror out it's my eyeshadow I was like really like oh my god like he was actually being serious like he thought I'd actually hurt my eye which I can kind of understand because do you know what I mean like it is red and everything but still I was just like oh thanks thank you yeah definitely got pink eye well, I'm gonna start off by kind of second priming so we already primed with the body shop vitamin C primer I'm now gonna use this which I got in my glossy box for January I was really excited to get this this is the bye bye strawberry booster it's a hundred percent cold pressed strawberry seed oil and that's what the bottle looks like oh it's kind of oily on the bottle because i must have accidentally got it a little bit oily but anyway so what you do is you just put a couple of drops into your hand and then onto your face and this would be good for somebody that's got like dry skin and their makeup doesn't sit on their face properly because of that obviously i've got oily skin but i also do know that if you take oils away from your face it gets worse so you'll get more oil on your skin because if you remove oils from your skin then your skin will try and make more oils basically which will obviously make your skin oilier obviously my face is just gone a bit red but it's actually not that red in real life it just looks like it is but i do also have a cold so that doesn't help yeah look at that that looks well red on the camera but in real life it does not look anywhere near that bad um but anyway i am going to use my foundation this is actually a new foundation that i've been using and it is the wet and wild photo focus foundation in the shade soft beige this is the perfect shade for me I actually really love this foundation and usually I'm definitely more of like a full coverage person like I would definitely go for more full coverage foundation like my favorite one is the Maybelline 24 hour superstay foundation I think that's just up there but I just wanted to try something a bit cheaper because this is literally five pounds something from Boots so I thought oh I'll give it a go and I actually really like it like it's not full coverage obviously it is light to medium as it says but I would say it's more of a medium coverage and what I tend to do is put a layer on my face blend it in and then um build up coverage a bit more so I can always apply a little bit more but yeah it's nice to try something a little bit different so I'm just going to start to blend that in obviously you know you won't notice amazing coverage because it's not claiming to be amazing coverage but I kind of like it I feel like you should add your foundation as like a base and then if you need coverage anywhere that should come from your concealer and then that just means that you're not got caked sort of foundation all over your face I am having such a great start to this year in terms of my mental health and how I'm viewing things I have come in with such a different mindset I used to just go through life and just plod along and be like yeah 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 whatever but now i've started to think do you know what i'm getting older like obviously i'm not getting old but do you know what i mean i'm getting older and i'm now 20 and i just thought when i'm older i don't want to be in the position where you look back and you think i wish i'd done that i wish i'd done this you know because when you're young that's when you can make things happen a lot easier and well it depends what it is obviously but I just want to put that into action a little bit more now because it's so much easier for me to do that now than it will be in the future and I mean in terms of you know my career in terms of uni in terms of um healthy eating I just want to put the effort in and that's why I really want to kind of look at maybe starting my own skincare little range thing obviously I'm not going to make that much money off it and I'm completely happy with that because I wasn't making that much money off the body shop. Like I was making a good amount. Like I was very happy with what I was making. Um, but I just, I don't know, like I want to do my own thing and I want it to be like a hobby or a project. Like it's not, I want to do this because I want to make money. Um, it's, I want to do this because this is something that I'm interested in. Sorry, there's a hair on my face if you're just wondering what I'm doing. And I don't know, I just really kind of, this year just felt like I want to do something step out of my comfort zone and if you fail at something then you fail but that that's just what i say in life like try things that you want to do and if you fail then you learn from it and you move on to something else you'll never know until you try so that's kind of what i'm doing sorry also i'm just building up the coverage as well 
because it is like I said quite light coverage but I do like the lasting power to it as well like it doesn't make my skin oily at all during the day which is great I'm also this year gonna try and save more money like I just want to be a little bit more conscious of what's going in and what's going out obviously I'm doing accounting and finance it would be a little bit stupid of me to not be good with money and that is exactly what I was last year not very good with money so this year I'm gonna try my hardest to be a lot better you know like I said I'm not buying that eyeshadow palette that Tarte's brought out straight away I'm waiting until I know that I have the money do you know what I mean like if I don't spend it on food or whatever obviously my food shop I will spend it on but I mean like going out for meals then I can afford the palette like that's how I see it so I am now going to go in with concealer I have this concealer which I actually really love and it's from the body shop matte clay full coverage concealer and this is in the shade number 10 i really love this concealer it blends in really nicely now i just literally use it for underneath my eyes but to brighten but it does have a really really nice coverage like if i got this in a darker shade this would be a great like spot concealer but i just really like how it brightens the under eye like can you see that obviously i need to blend it in properly but yeah i do love that product and then I'm going to go back in with the concealer from Makeup Obsession that I used at the beginning. And I'm just going to pop that in the areas of my face where I would like to highlight. So a little bit under the eye, round the nose, Cupid's bow, on the nose, the chin, and then a little bit on the forehead. So they're the areas of my face that I want to highlight with the concealer. concealer and everything like it does look very caked up very scary um but this is the kind of person i am i love doing my makeup and um, but i am gonna go back in with my powder from natural collection and i'm just gonna use my brush and just pack on the powder just to really mattify everything down because obviously i have got my oily skin and you have to bear in mind a lot of that shine was from the oil as well as the foundation So it just, can you see how well that like just mattifies? Like it's just a cheap powder, but it does work really well. That's why when it comes to things like powders, like I am definitely never going to buy an expensive powder because this is all I need. So I look a lot better already. Right, so I'm now going to use some bronzer. I have got this brush from the body shop this is their blusher brush but i do use it for bronzer and at the minute i'm just trying to use it products you know project pan and everything that everyone's on about where they're trying to use products up before they buy another one i think i'm getting through this one quite well and it was only a pound from poundland um once i finish this i will get another one but i am just gonna blend that up into my forehead i do quite like this one it is a nice shade like it gives a nice warmth to the skin but i'm just gonna kind of pop it around my face and then i'll get back to you but it's actually a lot stronger on the camera than it is in real life which is very unusual but hopefully it will kind of die down i think it might be the camera's exposure or whatever so i am going to do a little bit of contouring i'm going to take my sleek contouring palette and i'm just going to use this kind of brownie cool tone shade here and i'm going to pop it up my cheekbone and my jawline and then i'm going to take a smaller brush like this one and I'm just going to contour under my lip and then down my nose I always contour my nose like genuinely it makes such a difference like you might not like it you might think I look a bit stupid but mm, I don't care and then we will blend that out because it does look a little bit funny in this area but I don't know I just like to do it and that's just what I do so right blusher now i'm going to use my most favorite blusher that i've ever ever used and it will always be my most favorite i don't know where it's from i found it off amazon like five years ago and since then like no matter what blusher i get this is always my favorite one it's just the perfect 
like peachy shade it's just like a peachy pink i just find that it blends into like bronzer and everything really nicely i don't know why this is looking so dark on the camera because it genuinely does not look like that in real life well i hope it doesn't anyway <laughs> Yeah, let's not do that. Um, so I've used blusher, my favourite blusher. I'm now going to highlight using my highlighter brush and also my W7 Glow Commotion highlighter. This is more of like a goldy tone. Pop that up here. You can see that glow it gives. Other side. Down the nose. Okay, that's my highlighter done. Now I am gonna take my brush and I'm just gonna try and blend everything out or everything in together like this. Okay, so I am nearly done. I've got lipsticks to do, mascara. Oh, and actually I forgot to set my eyebrows. I'm gonna use this Model Co Clear Brow Gel. I also got that in my glossy box for January this year. And this is actually really good. Like it does genuinely set my brows really, really nicely. So I'm just gonna push this over my eyebrows to set them in place so that they don't go everywhere. And then I'll just do the other side really quickly. Very quick, very easy, but it's nice to keep your brows in place. So yeah, I do love that product. And mascara. So mascara wise, I'm gonna use the Catrice Volume Mascara. This is the Iconista. This is a really good mascara. Like I always reach for this one. But yeah, I haven't done anything underneath my lash line when it comes to eyeshadow. I'm, I am gonna do something though. I'm gonna take this brush here. It's from Urban Decay. Take some of the red shade that I used on the top of my eyes and just push that a tiny bit along here like I'm just literally doing the outer part and then the same with the other side and then to highlight I'm just going to use this highlighty shade here yeah <laughs> and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of my eye as a little bit of highlight mascara time so I'm going to do my mascara and then I will get back to you So I've done my mascara, final, nearly final step, I'm gonna do lipstick. I'm gonna take the Beauty Big Bang Lipstick, Lip Curl in the shade number nine, Rose Taupe. Probably one of my favorite and most used lipsticks because I use it as a lip liner every single day. So I'm just gonna line my lips. Now I am going to apply a lipstick, which is from The Body Shop. This is The Body Shop, Sienna Rose Matte shade, sorry, the shade is Sienna Rose Matte number 430. Nice kind of pinky matte lipstick. There we are. I have finished. So I'm just gonna apply some setting spray. I'm using my Candy Cosmetics Pre Glow Up Mist, but I'm gonna use this as a setting spray. Mm. Right, I am finished. So this is my finished makeup look for today. I've got two more videos to film after this one and I'm really just not leaving the house in general. So yeah, I'm really happy with my makeup today. I don't know why I wouldn't be because, let's see, that is what my makeup looks like. It looks like this, not really orange, but like it was making me look like, do you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you out. Okay, so this is my finished makeup look for today. And obviously my hair is literally like, I literally just did a workout with this hair. But you know, that's life. Um, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. I kind of want to do these videos like once a month, like a chatty, get ready with me kind of video. Just, and I look very kind of simple, but also effective. So thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.